Earth. A world outgrown, scarred by war and burdened with the advance of our ancestors, compelled the first voyages across space in a desperate quest to colonize other worlds. Space. Its timeless boundaries and infinite horizons forged the creation of stargates that could bridge the immense distances between the stars. Through mastery of this technology, mankind ventured deeper into the cosmos. Ruthless corporations rose to power, seizing every world within their grasp. When the stargates could take them no further, they turned against each other, igniting conflicts that would last for centuries. The battles raged until the historic discovery of a natural wormhole, a celestial womb through which civilization would be reborn. The first brave pioneers to enter this portal emerged unscathed, transported instantly across the universe to a virgin system they called New Eden. Millions of colonists soon followed in their wake, lured by the vision of paradise through the astral gateway known as Eve. Spreading outwards among the stars, they embraced Eve with the greatest of expectations, the highest of hopes, and the boldest of dreams. When one day, nature conspired with fate, to breed the cruelest nightmare of all. The wormhole leading to New Eden collapsed, severing young colonies from the home worlds which sustained them. It was the beginning of a dark age that would erase civilization as it was known to be. As the accumulated knowledge of millennia slowly eroded, the unfinished worlds of Eve became the graveyards of millions. On the few planets that could sustain life, the last remnants of our race struggled to adapt and survive. In time, society was reborn and the memories of our past transformed into legend and myth. The first to emerge from the darkness were the Amar, a monotheistic race fervently committed to their faith. They reinvented spaceflight and soon discovered they were not alone. The Amarians encountered the Minmatar race, dismissing them as primitive barbarians destined for a life of slavery. Moving quickly to subjugate them, they launched a merciless crusade against the Minmatar worlds. At the same time, the Galente race flourished nearby. They created the first democratic republic of the new era and established a regional federation of independent states. The Kaldari emerged as the strongest state among them, driven by the relentless pursuit of economic and military might. Their nationalist ideals soon clashed with Galente liberalism. Destruction and suffering once again became the defining essence of our civilization. Four races, torn apart by two horrific wars. When all that remained were the smoldering ruins of lost cities and shattered lives, a universal truce was declared to end the despair. For more than a century, the races of Eve have coexisted in relative peace. Prosperity and the pursuit of wealth govern the mission of mankind. We have a destiny to meet, and the courage of our pilots will show us the path. On the strength of your wings, the fate of empires and the hopes of worlds will be decided. Take control of the destiny that is rightfully yours. You are about to become what all men should fear. 
You will roam the heavens, commanding the most powerful machines ever built. So unbound that not even death itself can claim you. For you are immortal. With all eternity to seize a destiny that is yours to define. But you are not alone with such power. Other demigods roam these stars as well. And they are no less driven to succeed, or to rule, as you. There are more paths than one to greatness. If you have intellect, you will survive the darkest days. If you have courage, you will claim the bounties of man and nature. If you have patience, you will amass the wealth of empires. And if you can lead, there is no limit to what you can become. What you dare to become rests on your will to be bold. Dare to be bold, pilot. Forge your own path to greatness. An old prophecy foretold of magnificent cities in the skies. It told of riches beyond dreams in uncharted heavens. A better place. A new home. A promised land. It is time to fulfill that prophecy. It is time for a new allegiance. A new power. A new world order. It is our time.
religions, as so many other things, began when man looked at the skies and said, I belong there. I am one with the gods. So man rose from the ground to build a new home for himself in the cold, dark depths of space. And he brought hope to those dark places, expecting that this ascension, this enlightenment, would unify and strengthen him. But the darkness fought back, and man turned on man. Metal beer moths roamed the skies, gorging themselves on lesser creatures. And somewhere along the line, we found our true nature. For man is the destroyer of things, and the vicious master of his savage domain. We have our own place in the universe, and it is a dark, cruel role we play. We are the revolutionaries. We are the usurpers to the heavenly thrones. We are the enemies of the gods. Shockwaves have been felt throughout New Eden, following an ominous turn of events in New Lai, 
where just moments ago, a tense standoff between direct enforcement division warships and an unknown task force ended without incident. Scope News obtained this video depicting what appears to be a combined mix of Republic fleet and Thucker tribe vessels converging on the station as if preparing to attack. The two groups have never cooperated before, and the Minmatar government denies any involvement in the incident. Although the area surrounding the station is once again clear, fears remain that the Mystery Task Force will one day return, and with much more sinister intentions. momentous day that shall be honored for time everlasting. Our glorious empire at last heralded the coronation of Her Majesty Empress Jamil. As billions of faithful beheld a scene of unprecedented imperial might, she arrived with her guardians to announce the dawn of a new reclaiming. The legacy of her reign began with a decree to every soul of New Eden. I am the harbinger of hope. I am the sword of the righteous. And to all who hear my words, I say this. What you give to this empire, I shall give back unto you. Wrapping up financial news, commodity prices fell on profit-taking for trading runs, but the manufacturing sector rallied on economic data showing a sharp increase in orders for Starship components. Meanwhile, an increase in mining yield for the period indicates... Uh, we have a breaking story. This is live footage of the Rattalos border in Solitude, where Imperial Navy warships have just crossed... Uh, wait, correction. We have reports now that those ships belong to the Amarian Royal Air Orium Cador, not the Imperial... Whoa! They've opened fire. I don't believe it. Amarian Air Orium Cador has just launched a personal invasion of Federation space, which just months ago was invaded by... I'm sorry, we're getting more footage now. Okay, heavy fighting is underway between forces in... Look! Military experts are calling this a sinusoral field. Hundreds, maybe thousands of ships are coming through. Oh my God. This is a massive Federation counterattack. The Galentians are fighting back with everything they've got. Look, a Federation Titan has just come through. There's no escaping them now.
it is often a necessary evil. I began this journey intending to create, not to destroy. I looked to the stars and vowed that one day, I would have a paradise to call my own. To those that offered me their trust, I was a great benefactor. A master of wealth and prosperity. World by world, we would build an empire. Reach heights that were once unimaginable. But the spread of influence takes an iron will. Your interests might align with some, and with others, collide with the force of suns. You are much more powerful than you think. Creation is so precious, and greed so destructive. Your choice will make a difference. Because all these worlds are yours. Two centuries ago, an industrial mogul named Sancha Kuvaki built an empire as an arms manufacturer during the first Galente Kaldari War. Hailed as a cultural messiah, Kuvaki drew millions of colonists to his domain by promising a utopian alternative to contemporary society. However, Sancha was also secretly using his vast resources to fund cybernetic experimentation on humans, turning them into slaves loyal only to him. When the great empires learned of these practices, they joined forces to end his regime. Through their combined efforts, Sancha and his minions were hunted down and driven off. Those few sympathizers who survived settled in the Stain region, far from empire borders. But years later, groups of Sancha began short, well-organized incursions into secure space. Using advanced technology, they were repeatedly able to sneak past defenses and make surface landings on sovereign worlds, abducting millions. These unfortunate souls were doomed to become part of Sancha's twisted hive mind forever. Sancha Kuvaki has brought his war back to the empires with a vengeance, directly challenging the resolve of Capsuleers. While none can say with certainty what his agenda might be, he seems determined to re-establish his so-called promised land for good. Honor isn't about making the right choices. It's about dealing with the consequences. 
There's a fine line between right and wrong. You'd better know which side of it you're on. station you'll have it now keep going and do what I'm paying you for when you learn the hard way. Your choice always comes back around. We built something great. We weren't gonna let them destroy it. Not without a fight. Remember, we set a track. Battleships on the outposts. Tacklers get points on anything that moves. All we had to do was hold them up and let the big guns do the killing. We had no idea what was coming. Fleet hostiles inbound. All ships break off and align to Planet 5. It was an ambush. They hit us from long range. It's like going into a gunfight with a knife. It's a helpless feeling, watching your friends get shot up. But the fleet commander, he kept it together. Scepters, if you can get close to them, we can still win this. Go. They were counting on me to fly through 200 clicks of space directly into a wall of gunfire. My hands were shaking. I didn't think I was going to make it. But there I was, flying through the whole pack of them. tore them to shreds. They had it coming. And we weren't gonna let up. All ships, you are weapons free. Kill them all. We held our ground. We still are, to this day. Scepters, that was one hell of a run. Great job. I don't know how to explain this, but I'm telling you, it was so real. I was there. I'm telling you. I was there. Ah. You're awake. Your vitals are stabilizing nicely. Consciousness came through fully intact. It's always disorientating the first time. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Right. Since you're not going anywhere just yet, let me show you a part of your new life. At this level, no quarter is given. 
there's a great deal of opportunity out there, but a great deal of danger as well. Money, power, politics, betrayal. All in a lifetime's work. Of course, you're going to have slightly more time than that. Well, pilot, what are you waiting for? galaxy. With a bounty that high, he has to run. Because everybody with a trigger finger and a taste for cash will be coming after him. Some he can fight off. Others he can outmaneuver. But today, Vic is about to get caught by the most savage hunter of them all. Me. Eve Online Retribution. 
Destruction. Revenge is just the beginning. Earth. The origin of our ancestors. A century had passed since they discovered the Eve Gate. A wormhole. Passage to a remote corner of the universe. New Eden. It was the largest colonization effort in the history of man. The mass settlement of hundreds of strange new worlds. We thought nothing could stop us. After the Eve Gate collapsed, Countless colonies perished. The scattered survivors forgot the old world. Fragments of mankind, light years apart, lost contact. Thousands of dark years passed until humanity rose again to be with the stars. In different corners of New Eden, great empires had evolved. Four different faces of humanity. When they clashed, the wars were merciless. of the years of conflict, a new kind of human emerged, one capable of immortal life. To transform into this rare breed, we pay the ultimate price. At the moment of death, our mind is transferred to a fresh clone. We have become immortal. In the sky, we reach farther. On the ground, we strike harder. The empires are losing their grasp on power. And as our age begins to dawn, they will learn to fear us. few defy their fears and accept the challenge. They venture into the dark, driven by a desire for knowledge, wealth, and power. Because unlike the others, they have the courage to face the hidden dangers of the unknown. They know that with great risk also comes great reward. Let us cast off our fear. This is the age of discovery. This is our odyssey. Establishing connection in three, two, and primary defenses are. 
are breached. Attempting brute force on secondary. Keep them off me! Capsuleers of New Eden. We are aware your scanners are detecting cosmic anomalies of an unknown nature. Deploying sentry drones. Now you keep them busy. These anomalies originate from covert research facilities known as ghost sites. They are run by hostile factions and pose a significant threat to the entirety of New Eden. Battleships, Andre. Time's up. We've got to go. Negative. Just hold them off. I'm almost through. The Empire's demand full compliance with the following directive. Capture your access to these illicit facilities is strictly forbidden. Taking heavy fire. Unauthorized interactions will be considered a violation. Almost there. Shield it down. There's so much damage. And should you fail to comply. I'm in. I've never seen anything like this. Wait, no. Abort! Abort! There will be consequences. From the formless void, there springs an entity. more primordial than the elements themselves. In its wake, they will follow a storm. The prophecy is true. The heretics have constructed the gate. It must be destroyed. Commanders, it is the dawn of a new era. Today, we hold the key to new worlds. Wealth and our independence. Ignition sequence initiated. Stand by for perimeter evacuation. Once the gate is active, it will change our world forever. The fleet awaits your command, my lord. Boarding the sequence. Prepare for battle. Bravo wing, clear for dust off. Clear. Formal bond. Bravo squad, port flank, five wide. Roger that. We're on it. All wings in position. Blockade is ready. There 
is a strange, um, I don't know what you call it exactly, anomaly, uh, a light anomaly, a star anomaly. And apparently the closer you get to Jove space, the better you can see it. It has been nicknamed Caroline Star. Whatever happened there, it's massive. What caused that whole thing to happen? Jovian stargates have gone offline. The circadian sleepers have also been appearing. All those things have been scanning everything that comes near them. The unidentified structures that have been popping up and disappearing. They are listening to you, preparing to explore, preparing for war. Is it possible that the sleepers have found a way to break away from the construct? There's no telling what they might do out of self-defense. Maybe the sleepers are the ones needing the, the body parts so they can reconstruct bodies because their actual bodies have withered away.